This is uh, just going to be a quick video of uh, my little uh, compressed air powered uh, V8 engine. Uh, I've got a uh, borrowed flywheel on there for the moment. Um, I made a smaller flywheel for it. Uh, in fact, I'll show you what it looks like. It's, uh, it looks like uh, that, made out of brass. Um, I like the looks of that smaller flywheel, but uh, the engine doesn't run quite as well with it. I think at the end of the day it's going to need a, um, <clears throat> a propeller, probably a six inch or more propeller, either three or four blade made out of steel, so it'll uh, make it look more like an aircraft engine and also it'll uh, give it the weight it needs to uh, run and idle well. Anyway, I will uh, just pan around here real quick so you can kind of get a look at it and see what it looks like. Um, this has a um, rotary valve in the middle, which is a hollow tube. The air goes in through this hollow tube and the rotary valve in the middle rotates and feeds air to each of the cylinders in turn as it's their turn to fire. And then there's a ball valve and a spring in here. When it fires, the ball valve is forced to the side, which opens a port to let the high pressure air into the piston. And when the valve over here closes, the spring returns that ball over to this side and lets the uh, air uh, exit out through the uh, exhaust. Uh, this is a four cycle operation. It has uh, the camshaft uh, or the uh, gear on the uh, rotary valve runs at one half the speed of the uh, crankshaft so it operates four stroke uh, just like its full size counterpart. So let me get back around here and I'll go ahead and start it up. It is self starting. First we'll run it at a kind of a slow idle. This is my favorite speed because it actually sounds to me kind of like uh, an idling V8 from the 1950s, maybe out of an old mobile or uh, uh, something of that nature. Closer, you might be able to hear the exhaust valve, the exhaust sound. Maybe not. You can see it does run pretty quiet. It'll probably idle down even a little bit slower than that. And it revs up pretty good. I haven't messed with the timing on it too much, so I don't know if it's set as good as it could be or not. There goes the compressor, so we'll uh, we'll shut it off. 